Download and Install Open Plotter. Hi. In this tutorial I'll show you how to download Open Plotter for the Raspberry Pi. You'll see what hardware you need and how to get the software installed. For hardware we'll use a Raspberry Pi, a micro HDMI cable, a screen, a keyboard, a mouse, a micro SD card, and a power supply. We'll also use a PC to download and copy the Open Plotter operating system to the micro SD card. Let's get started. First we open the open plotter site at openmarine.net. They also offer some great documentation. We'll download the open plotter starting version, and then we download the image zip. Once it's downloaded, let's unzip it. Next we need a tool to write the image to the micro SD card. On the Raspberry Pi website we can download the Raspberry Pi imager. Let's install and run it. Then we select the image file we just unzipped. Next choose where to write the image to, after inserting the micro SD card. This will take a while. After you're done copying the image to the micro SD card, safely remove the SD card and insert it in the Raspberry Pi. Now we need to connect the Raspberry Pi to the peripherals. Insert the micro SD card and power the Pi. The open plotter operating system will start installing automatically. At the end you'll be presented with a wizard. It's important to go through the wizard in order to connect to the Wi-Fi and download the latest version of Open Plotter. Choose your country. Then set a password to protect the Pi. The default password is Raspberry. Then connect to a wireless network. If you have a network cable plugged in, you can skip this step. Once we are connected to a network, we can download the latest software. When this is finished, you can reboot Open Plotter to run the latest version. Alternatives. It's also possible to install Open Plotter on a PC or a virtual machine, but then you don't have access to the same apps as on the Pi. Instead of using a micro SD card, you could also use an external NVMe USB drive, which should be more reliable in case of power cuts. And a portable wireless keyboard is a good alternative for a keyboard and mouse. To replace the power adapter we can also use a battery to make it more portable. If you don't have a monitor you could also use a television for the initial setup, and then use BNC to connect remotely to the Pi. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more.